Welcome back to The Crawl Space. We are about to test my work. We have one of my mastermind students here, Rashan. I'm Rashan Force. I'm with Sabre Residential. We specialize in small investors managing their properties. I'm here today learning more about best practices uh, for duct tightness and uh, just learn more about it. Everybody can use performance testing in different ways. We, uh, mastermind students come from a whole variety of different places just trying to use testing to get better at whatever it is that they're doing. I'm a first time HVAC installer. I did my own sheet metal work and the return plenum here is custom made. I had to make this out of like, I disassembled a kit that came and had to cut all the pieces and then reassemble them and then screw them all together and massacre them together. So we've got one big 16 inch round We've got a, an eight inch round coming down here and we've got a 10 inch round right back here. Those all come out of one custom made box. Now, this is the duct tightness tester and Rashawn is gonna explain what we're about to do with this. Um, but what you may be familiar with it for is like passing code tests. Just saying, oh, I passed the test. It can also be used as a training tool. So pretend that I am your apprentice and I just built this and you don't know what kind of work that I do. So before you build the rest of the duct system and then take my work, which might be shoddy, and lump it in with the rest of the crew's work, which might be fantastic, and now everybody suffers because I did a bad job, let's test my work, see this box that I just built, and let's just test what it does so that we know that I am trustworthy moving forward and that I actually can air seal a duct system. So this is just a little spot test. If you have one of these machines, very easy to just whip it out and do this with it. So we've sealed up all of the intentional openings into the ductwork, and Rashawn, what are we about to do with this thing? Uh, we're gonna use this to put pressure into the sealed space here to see if there's any leakage in the ductwork. The leakage number for the entire 2,200 square foot living space that this system is gonna serve, I'm allowed four CFM per 100 square feet. There are 22 hundreds in 2200, so 22 times four is 88. So 88 CFM is the amount that I'm allowed to leak, leak for the entire duct system, which is pretty extensive. This being just one small part of it. I do not wanna see really any leakage out of this. So we're gonna not go with a wide open fan. Rashawn, will you grab those plates over there? We're not gonna go with the big hole. We are gonna go with this hole. So that's how much I hope to leak. And maybe we actually, this will be too big. We'll see. Will you get us up and running, my friend? Okay, so we ran it up. We forgot to tape one of the, the openings the closed. Intentional openings, Did yeah. Did that. Uh, Retaped this one up here because it was still looking bad. I have used a bigger opening. Go ahead and run us again. All right, let's give Rashawn. it a shot. Thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought maybe I wasn't trustworthy for a minute there. So we're at negative 25 and I'm getting 17 CFM out of this box. This box is pretty complicated. Uh, is the box sexy there, Sean? This is a sexy it's box. Sexy. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> it's a good so I get box. points for style. Uh, but I probably am gonna come along and try and find any other leaks around here and I'm gonna try and seal those up too because I, I'd rather keep it way below that 88. 88 means that I'm gonna fail. So for such a small portion of the ductwork, I'm not really happy with that. So now I have learned that I, as a trainee, need more practice before I'm set free on my own. And that's a useful thing to learn from your equipment. So Rashawn, thank you for testing me. Absolutely. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe. Tune in next time.